Well, if you've lived in central Illinois for any length of time and are a sports fan, you probably know this guy's name and his face. Major League Baseball All-Star, former Illini, Darren Fletcher, getting ready to ride shotgun. Thanks Let's for do it. I appreciate it. You ready to roll? I'm ready to go. All right, here we go. I, um, get this. I haven't gotten in an accident yet. You haven't? You might as well be the first. <laughs> so well, you got the Jeep, you're ready to roll. I know, it's, I could just go over anything that's in my way in this thing. So for those who uh, who don't know, aren't familiar with you, you played uh, Major League Baseball for quite a while and were an all-star so, at one point in there, yeah. right? So a little Montreal, uh, you know, bonsoir, mon ami. <laughs> you, you picked up some French? Ben oui, mon ami. Yeah, if we, if, we, if we do the rest of this in French, I'm in a world of trouble. I can just promise you that. Qu'est-ce que tu fais dans la vie? I'm out. I'm yeah, out. Right. Spanish, I can funnel right. my way through, but not French. All right. Um, what is something about the life of a professional athlete, especially at that level, that that people don't know or understand? Like the biggest misconception, people assume something about you that it's just not. It's I don't just not know. True. I mean, maybe it's the glamour thing. You know, you think that like, oh, you're you're uh, you know, you play ball and then you're out all night and then you, you know, a lot of guys, um, you know, it's it's a stressful. Uh, thing to do, you know. Yeah, I mean, sure. it, it, especially catching for me. I needed a solid, and my friends at home know this. I needed a solid <laughs> ten hours of sleep a night, you know, even when I was playing. So it, it, um, you know, the travel is, the travel's tough, but you didn't have to pay for many meals. I bet, I bet not. The per diem is probably yeah, not bad. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> so you're you're back here. Uh, yeah. Like what always? What back made here. you? Well, decide. born and raised here. My wife's from here. Our, our both sides of our family's from here. It, um, I like it. I like Vermilion County. I like I like Illinois. Um, I know one thing I don't do is I I don't set an alarm to get up, nice. and I don't keep an appointment book, and I like that. Yeah, you know, because all those years, all those years of uh, living by an itinerary or yeah. where I needed to be, where I needed to go, what time stretch was, what time the game time was, you know, I just, you know, for me, um, you know, I just like to uh, let the day come to me as it is. You know, here's the deal: is that when I was a kid, I dreamed about playing the big leagues. Yeah. And ever since I was four years old, if someone asked you what I wanted to do, I wanted to play in the big leagues. I played in the big leagues. <laughs> you know, right. I, I played until yeah. I was 36, and you know what, Tim? I yeah. didn't plan for anything else. <laughs> yeah, you know what? So I'm in that area now where I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. I was hoping that I'd have a family and be able to chill out. And you know what? I'm just, I'm just soaking up the freedom. You know, yeah. I got a, a few things here and there. Is uh, do, you, do you do you cook? Do you garden? Do you like what's what's the what's the thing that if if you I have garden to yourself? I do golf garden. Or... I play guitar. Uh, I like music, so I'm listening okay. to music. We drive a lot out in the country. Yeah, it is. It is pretty bright out. I might put my yeah. Freddie, go for it. I might put my Freddie Mercury glasses it's on. It's allowed. Are you going to sing for us too? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. <laughs> we could. We'll do the carpool karaoke yeah. next time, man. I didn't know what I was missing. <laughs> Tell me about your family. I didn't know until just recently. Uh, I had seen your daughter at Illini games as a yeah, cheerleader, cheerleader and didn't know the connection. Well, I mean, that's something, too, is that, you know, I was a, very involved in my children's life. Yeah. So when I retired, I had a son, Casey, my oldest. He was very involved in baseball, and we traveled all over the place following him. Then my daughter, Presley, with, with diving. Uh, she dove in high school and all of her stuff. And then cheerleading here at the U of I. Watched a lot of football and basketball games. A lot, a lot, watched a lot of baseball games here at the U of I. So got a younger one, too, that's just... I still have a uh, going to be a junior in high school, Tim. Oh, okay. So, you know, my kids, for my wife and I, are, are a big part of our lives, and we kind of follow them around, tend to their needs. You know, <laughs> children, I, I, children are like that. I, aren't call, they? <laughs> I call myself a fireman. You know, all I do is I, there's little fires <laughs> right. that, that are around, and I put out fires. You know. You know uh, how, how affiliated are you still with the University of Illinois? Do you have connections there fan. still with the program? Fan? Just a fan yeah. pulling for the football team, basketball team, baseball team. I, I know uh, catching can be rough on the knees. I say I know that because I've heard it, not because I've actually done it. It wasn't me stumbling in a car and they, they lowered me in. <laughs> you did pretty well. We didn't yeah, have to use bad a knees. crane or anything to get you in here. Yeah, I can say with complete honesty, I'm a, I'm broke down. <laughs> yeah, my knees are my knees are sore. My shoulders shot. Yeah. Uh, you know, my uh, I, I got some arthritis in my fingers, but other than that, I'm going good. I, I play thinking, golf. You know, right. if I can play golf, I'm good to go. If you ask me to get out of this car and run to the curb, I couldn't make it. When I was recruited, uh, when I was recruited on campus here by Tom Deaton, mm -hmm. um, he saw me in high school at Oakwood. 
and he goes, he goes, uh, Darren, we feel you could maybe catch a little bit. You might be able to hit, um, but we feel as a staff you may be the slowest teenager in America. <laughs> That's what he said to me. I was like, well, thanks. Coaches have a way I'm of being able to, to encourage. Appreciate there. that. <laughs> but I, you know what I said to him? I said, you know what, Coach, you can't steal first base. Uh, there you go. That's right. Uh, we'll wrap up with uh, how do you feel about some of these rule changes in baseball that they've been going through now with the pitch clock and all that kind of ah, stuff? Garbage. Garbage. So you're not a fan right. of shortening no, the game? No, let it let it, let it, it percolate. Let yeah. it simmer. The drama of each pitch. Baseball is, is, is high drama if you really get into each situation as it develops. And um, I don't like the... I don't like the, the the play stoppage with checking checking whether there was an out or oh, save. Right, sure. I don't like that at all. I don't like the robot umpires. I like it when umpires miss calls because yep. it's still part of the game and it goes down in history. That human um, element. Yeah, I yeah. love the human element. I they I, I just they're not going to ruin it because baseball's a great game. But um, I wish they would kind of just let it go. So Darren Fletcher's vote is keep it as is, huh? Thanks for running shotgun. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate it.